Where there are people there are usually places of worship, and since the early years of civilization, temples have long served an important role in not only the fabric of countless religions but also the livelihood of communities. These magnificent structures with their extraordinary architecture, serve as safe spaces for those seeking a sense of spiritual enlightenment or those looking to learn more about a certain religion. In many ways, ancient and celebrated temples also act as reminders of a region's history and soaring examples of its classic architectural styles. Followings are the top 10 most amazing temples in the world, no wonder the designers have put their hearts and souls to honor deity. Coming at number 10, St. Basil's Cathedral. With its scarlet red walls and fantastical onion-shaped domes, it's no wonder that the impressive St. Basil's Cathedral is considered to be one of the most unique feats of Russian architecture. Was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1990. Originally built between 1555 and 1561 by order of Tsar Ivan the Terrible to commemorate a military conquest, the building continues to dazzle thousands of visitors each year in Moscow's famous Red Square. It is actually nine churches in one, at first, the basement of the future cathedral served as a basis for nine small churches built one after another and connected with galleries and passageways. Interestingly, in the 16th century, the basement was used to store the church coffers and savings of the city's wealthy residents. Despite the systematic grouping of these chapels, the cathedral as a whole is asymmetrical and changes appearance depending on the vantage point. A tenth church was added in 1588 in honor of its namesake, St. Basil, also known as Basil, Fool for Christ. The cathedral's original color was said to be white to match the white stone of the Kremlin, while the domes were gold. Starting in the 17th century, the facade and domes began to be painted in the remarkable colors that are seen today, and the pigment is said to be taken from a biblical description, in the Book of Revelation, of the Kingdom of Heaven. Stories and myths abound of Ivan's raging temper, one of which involves him purposefully blinding the cathedral's architect so that its design could never be replicated. Coming at number 9, Tadaiji Temple. Do you find Eastern architecture and their history intriguing? If your answer is yes, you should visit the Tadaiji Temple located in Nara, Japan. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it is one of the most impressive and ancient temples in the world and plays a major role in Japanese history through the ages. This is actually a Buddhist temple complex that houses several other buildings and around 9,000 cultural artifacts and treasures from over 1,000 years of Japanese history. Visitors enter the temple through the massive Nam Daimon Gate, known for its giant guardian gods or Nayo, 7 meters tall wooden statues protecting the temple within from evil. Inside, you will see the Daibutsuden, 48 meters high, a breathtaking place in its scale and architecture. Remains the world's largest wooden building, though the present structure, rebuilt in 1709, is only two-thirds the size of the original. And you know what? It also houses the Daibutsu, the largest Buddha Vairochana statue in the world at 15 meters high, cast from over 500 tons of bronze and originally gilded. Founded by Emperor Shomu, Tadaiji was constructed as a symbol of imperial power and took over 15 years to complete, such as the scale of the buildings that the project almost bankrupted the Japanese state. Once covered 16 blocks of the city, but it was partially destroyed in a fire during the Genpei War, fortunately, was restored and worth a visit. Coming at number 8, Minakshi Temple. Another colorful and famous temple is the Minakshi Temple in Madurai, Temel Nadu. This temple is grand, both in terms of its architecture and in terms of its historical and religious significance. It is one of the most visited temples in India and is considered the Taj Mahal of the South. The temple boasts of a six-hectare complex and is divided into a number of quadrangular enclosures supported by high brick walls. The temple has four entrances facing the four cardinal direction. Minakshi Temple is dedicated to the triple-breasted, fish-eyed goddess Minakshi Oman, or goddess Parvati, as known in the north. Fish-eyed is a phrase often used for a perfect pair of beautiful eyes in Tamil poetry. This temple is special because unlike other temples in South India, which are dedicated to a male deity, mostly, Shiva and Vishnu, this temple is dedicated to a female deity. Another interesting thing about the Minakshi Temple is the presence of an estimated 33,000 sculptures in it, and is especially famous for the huge sculpture of the Nataraja, which is built on a silver altar. The Thousand Pillar Hall is a wonderful piece of architecture and is believed to be built out of a single rock, contains nearly 985 carved pillars symbolizing the Great Dravidian sculpture. Each pillar is unique. Some of these pillars astonishingly produce different melodious musical notes when struck. The temple has also a pond called Port Hamurai Kulam or the Golden Lotus Pond in its complex. The fact which makes this pond distinct from others is that the lotus which grows in it has a hue of golden. Coming at number 7, Shwedagon Pagoda. Set on a hill, glistening in the sunlight high above Yanga, the Shwedagon Pagoda stands as possibly the oldest Buddhist pagoda or temple in the world. According to the local legend, two brothers encountered the Buddha beneath a tree one day and offered him food. 
The Buddha, delighted by their offer, gifted them exactly eight of his hairs, which the brothers then carried in a ruby casket to what is now Myanmar. Shwedagon is actually a stupa with 99 meters and plated with 8,688 sheets of gold. Shimmers in the daylight, and sparkles when it's dark, is indeed a sight to behold. Oh, and by the way, it is studded with more than 7,000 diamonds and precious gems like rubies, sapphires, topaz along with a massive piece of emerald. It is said that the emerald bounces the last rays of the sun as it sets. Sitting at the very top of the umbrella is its largest and most precious gemstone, a 72-carat diamond, called the gem-encrusted crown of Burma and is estimated to be valued at $3 billion. The pagoda has survived several natural disasters and military occupations, and the glittering site still stands as a reminder of hope and resilience. Is the most sacred Buddhist pagoda in Myanmar, as it is believed to contain relics of the four previous Buddhas of the present Kalpa. These relics include the staff of Kakusanda, the water filter of Kanagamana, a piece of the robe of Kasapa, and the eight strands of hair from the head of Gotama. The large temple complex contains many other beautiful and interesting structures and is worth a visit. Coming at number 6, the Temple of Heaven. An elaborate tower built just outside the Forbidden City and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Temple of Heaven came about in the early 15th century under the rule of the Yongle Emperor. The magnificent structure served as the main venue for emperors of the Ming and Qing dynasties to host yearly prayer ceremonies for good harvests and atonement. It was believed that even the smallest error in the performance of this rite could bring bad fortune. The tower-like central structure, the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests, is entirely made of wood and no nails were used. Interestingly, each colorful pillar inside has its own story or symbol, from representing the four seasons to embodying the solar terms, but they all come together to represent the 28 mansions of the moon in Chinese astronomy. This large complex of ancient temples covers an area of 2.7 million square meters, one of the largest ancient temples in China. An interesting fact is the circular mound altar in the south part of the temple is a magnificently built altar lavishly decorated with carved dragons. The architect carved the number 9 into all possible elements of the altar to imply supremacy. 9 is considered to be the supreme number in Chinese culture. Another interesting fact is the magic of the echo wall, about 4 meters high, 1 meter thick, and 193 meters long. The wall is extremely smooth and tidy, making it can accurately reflect sound waves. If two people talk against the wall in the east and west of the hall, no matter how low the voice is, they can hear each other clearly. Coming at number 5, Angkor Wat. No visit to Cambodia is complete without visiting Angkor Wat. Sprawling across more than 400 acres, Angkor Wat is the largest religious site in the world. This includes 72 major temples along with several minor temples scattered across the area. Originally Angkor Wat served as a Hindu site dedicated to the god Vishnu. Over the years, it gradually incorporated Buddhist temples and practices. In Khmer, the language of Cambodia, Angkor Wat means city of temples, and that name is fitting as new temples and ruins are still being discovered today. Angkor Wat was built in the early 12th century long before the invention of a calculator or forklift. Without the use of machinery or any sophisticated building supplies, Angkor Wat required more than a few laborers to build it. It's thought that the construction took around 35 years with the use of 300,000 laborers and 6,000 elephants. The level of detail in the walls of Angkor Wat is astounding, the millions of sandstone bricks lay beautifully, complete with reflective pools and sanctuaries all surrounded by moats and bridges. The skill and craftsmanship of Khmer builders are years ahead of their time, and more in-depth than we will probably ever know. So after all those Angkor Wat facts, what really put it on the map? How about being featured in a Hollywood blockbuster? In 2001, Paramount Pictures reportedly paid $10,000 per day to film Lara Croft Tomb Raider inside Ta Prok Temple. Another interesting fact is that Ta Prok Temple is pristine without any human interferences and the trees growing out of the ruins are the notable feature of the area. Coming at number 4, Potala Palace and Jokhang Temple. Here's another amazing temple in the world. These two sites in Lhasa, at the rooftop of the world, are visible to each other from their own rooftops. About a mile separates them. At 12,139 feet above sea level, Potala is the highest palace in the world, and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The 1,300-year-old structure was originally built as a gesture of love, commissioned by Tibetan King Songsen Gambo for his marriage to Princess Wuncheng of the Chinese Tang Dynasty. The name Potala is a nod to a sacred mountain in India, where the Buddha of compassion is said to dwell. The palace was the home of the Dalai Lama until the 14th Dalai Lama fled when Chinese troops cracked down after a failed Tibetan uprising in 1959. Year-round, thousands of religious pilgrims circle the perimeter of the palace with prayer wheels and beads to ask for a blessing. And the Jokhang Temple is a four-story timber complex with a golden top. It adopted the architectural styles of the Tang Dynasty, as well as those of Tibet and Nepal. 
The Jokhang Temple is one of the most important religious sites in Tibet since it houses the most important statue in the temple from the time when Shakyamuni Buddha lived. The statue is more than 2,500 years old and it was consecrated by the Buddha himself. The main building of the temple is four floors high. All buildings in the center of Lhasa cannot be higher than four floors. That allows everyone to see the golden roof of Jokhang from the roofs of all other buildings in Old Town. Jokhang is also recognized as the World Cultural Heritage by UNESCO. Coming at number 3, Harmandir Sahib. Commonly referred to as the Golden Temple, this is a Sikh holy site in India's Punjab. Floating at the end of a long causeway, the temple itself is a mesmerizing blend of Hindu and Islamic architectural styles, with an elegant marble lower level adorned with flower and animal motifs in Pietra Dura work. The gold-plated structure is surrounded by gleaming white buildings and a reflective holy lake. The Sri Guru Granth Sahib, the sacred scriptures of the Sikh, are contained within. The temple is constructed with four entrances that face the north, east, west, and south, which is a symbol that all the people irrespective of caste, creed, color, or class are welcomed here. Golden Temple was named after the outer layer of gold foil that covers the entire temple. After the death of Guru Govind Singh, this Gurudwara was constantly attacked and destroyed by the Islamic ruler. In the year 1762, this religious heritage was completely blown away with gunpowder. After the devastation, Maharaja Ranjit Singh, a brave Sikh ruler rebuilt the rich heritage with marble and adorned it with gold. The pool surrounding the temple, which is considered sacred by the devotees, is known as the Umrit Sarovar, this literally translates to Pool of the Nectar of Immortality. Before offering prayers, they bathe in the holy water of the Sarovar. The Sikhs believe that spiritual possessions can be gained by taking a dip in the holy water of the sacred pool. Structurally, the temple is located on a level below the ground level, the stairs leading to the shrine go downwards as it signifies that one must be humble and go down to reach the temple of God. Coming at number 2, Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. The impressive and inspiring Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is one of the world's largest mosques and the only one that captures the unique interactions between Islam and other world cultures. Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan, the founder of the UAE, had a very specific vision for this mosque, to incorporate architectural styles from different Muslim civilizations and celebrate cultural diversity by creating a haven that is truly welcoming and inspirational in its foundation. The white marble was chosen to symbolize peace and purity. The mosque covers about 12 hectares of land and construction took 11 years to finish. Over 3,000 workers and 38 contractors worked together to finish this mosque. Different building materials were sourced from many countries, and it's made up of mostly natural materials such as marble, stone, gold, crystals, and semi-precious stones. The beautiful carpet in the main prayer hall is the world's largest hand-knotted carpet. It took around 8 months to design, 12 months to knot, and 2 months to transport, trim and weave the pieces together. The mosque also contains seven chandeliers, each made up of millions of Swarovski crystals. The largest of these weighs 12 tons, and it's the largest hand-blown glass fixture in existence. It's the second largest chandelier in the world. Ever wondered why a lot of people recommend you to visit the mosque at night? It's because of the unique lighting system modeled after moon phases, one of the more interesting designs aspects of the mosque. 22 Light Towers Project Bluish Light imitating moon lights and following the moon phases. And the light show projections it's something you just can't ignore. Coming at number 1, Wat Rong Koon. Unlike many of the other holy structures on this list, Wat Rong Koon is almost a new arrival. It turned out the temple is not really new. The original Wat Rong Koon, however, was in such a sorry state, that one of Thailand's greatest artists Chalamshai Kosi Pipa, decided to purchase and renovate the holy building with his own funds. It's a work in progress. Since 1997 he has invested more than $1.2 million to realize this project. Whereas most other Thai Buddhist temples show glittering collections of colors and tiles, this construction is purely white. The decorations are so staggeringly intricate that work is expected to be completed somewhere around 2070. Inside are symbols from the modern world, such as Spider-Man and Batman, and many others, while outside are more traditional icons one associates with the Thai temple. Visitors are surprised to find curiously irreverent imagery on the exterior. A monkey king Iron Man sitting on a bench, a predator sinking into the ground, but what will likely get a visitor's attention first is the mode of skulls and human hands reaching up to the walking bridge entrance to the assembly hall asking for help. And how about the restroom? Considered the most beautiful of its kind in Thailand, the toilet building is both breathtaking and symbolic. Visitors can look forward to relieving themselves in a bathroom housed in an entirely golden building, featuring ornate and gleaming exterior decorations. While the white color of the temple represents Buddhist purity, the gold color here represents humanity's focus on worldly nonsense. Want to be the first to know when a new video comes out? Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Our other cool stuff is showing up on the screen right now, so, stay there and check out. Stay tuned, and see you next time.